scientists and researchers have been debating for many years whether arachnophobia is something that's built into us. It's fair to say that not many people like spiders. When most of us see one, they have an instant reaction to get away from it. One symptom of arachnophobia includes relying on other people to get rid of the spider. If you're alone, you may actually leave the house rather than deal with the spider. Regardless of what you think about them, they're incredible creatures. There's over 40,000 described species of spiders. They can be found in nearly every landmass of the planet, and some spiders have even mastered the ability to survive underwater. Going back a few months ago, a Reddit user posted this photograph. He said that what you can see is a spider that's been taken over by a fungus. What makes things even worse is that during this ordeal, the spider is still alive and still able to move. Another user came forward and said that they have hundreds of these in their basement, and that they've seen them walking around while being covered in this fungus. Further saying that one night they went into their attic to find some old toys for their friend's child that was coming round. After the lights in the attic didn't work, they went downstairs to grab a torch. After shining the light in the attic, all they could see was these white zombie spiders walking slowly around the ceiling. They quickly got out the attic and kindly explained to the friend why they couldn't get the toys down. They ended their story by saying they didn't go back into the attic for at least the next few months. So my question to you guys is have you ever seen these in your attic? Let me know in the comments. This is one of the things that these smaller creatures have to deal with, and it's not just limited to spiders. In the animal kingdom there's a parasitic fungus that turns ants into zombies. Not only this, but once it's inside their system, it's able to manipulate them. This bacteria is unlike any other. Researchers have said that this fungus can manipulate the host's behaviour to get them to do whatever they want. Usually the fungus gets the poor ant to seclude itself from the rest of the colony. It then makes it find a branch or a leaf where the fungus takes over. Scientists are currently carrying out tests to find out more information on this fungus. One thing they have found is that the ants are adapting. They have been observed constantly cleaning their nests to try and stop the spread of the disease. Over the years, people have made incredible discoveries in places that you wouldn't expect. One of these was made over 30 years ago in Michigan. A man called Mazik noticed that when buying a farm in Michigan back in 1988, there was a large stone holding open a shed door. At the time, he didn't think much of it and just thought it was an ordinary rock. A few minutes had passed and he wanted to know if the farmer who was living there knew anything about it. He asked him if he had any idea what the rock was, as he'd never seen anything like it before. The farmer at the time said that it was nothing special. According to the farmer, while looking into the night sky he'd watched as a large rock fell to the earth. This happened during the 1930s. As he watched it fall to the earth, he quickly got the attention of his dad. Although his dad didn't actually see the event happen, he said he would trek to where the space stone had landed. When they finally made it to the rock's final resting place, they discovered that it was still red hot. Neither of them had ever seen anything like it before, and decided to use it as a doorstop. However, after hearing this story, Mazuk wasn't convinced and thought that perhaps the farmer was just trying to say this in the hopes of trying to sell the property. Further saying that if he said there was incredible meteor showers here, that would be an extra perk to buying the land. However, he did end up buying the property, and the farmer allowed him to keep the alleged space rock. Over the next 30 years, Mazuk continued to use the rock as a doorstop, but he soon noticed that whenever people would come to his farm, they would always ask about the mysterious looking rock and over the years his children even took it to school for show and tell. During 2018, Mazuk looked out the window and saw there was a large meteor shower going on. This then made him think about the farmer's story and whether or not it was true after all. After contacting a researcher at Central Michigan University, they told him they would take a look at the stone. It turns out that most of the stones they take a look at turn out to be ordinary rocks, but this one was different. After running tests, they could tell this rock came from outer space. She then went on to say this meteorite is worth up to $100,000. Mazuk has donated part of the rock to help scientists carry out further analysis. Every year we're making incredible breakthroughs in science. 
Researchers have recently come forward and said there are scientific groups soon emerging with treatments for the mental disease of Alzheimer's, and how it could theoretically be used to not only prevent the onset of Alzheimer's in patients, but also be used to help repair damaged neurons and mental connections. This is a massive breakthrough in itself. Recently, a new MIT study has put forward the idea of searching the cosmos. They have said they will do this by sending out a giant laser beam that would be able to reach as far as 20,000 light years away. This study was recently published in the Astrophysical Journal, and it got many people thinking. This isn't just a theory either, a lot of time and research has gone into this. The MIT scientists have said the laser would be easily detectable because the laser's radiation would be strong enough to stand out from the sun's energy. The researchers have said these signals should be easily picked up by intelligent life. James Clark, who's the author of the study, said the following about the project. If you wanted to build this thing on the far side of the moon when no one's living or orbiting, that would be a much safer place for it. In general, this was a feasible study. Whether or not this is a good idea, that's a discussion for future work. However, there are some that believe we've already been contacted by an advanced civilization. NASA's Cassini mission was the most comprehensive study of Saturn, and its numerous moons in history. This was a joint endeavour of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. Cassini is a robotic spacecraft orbiting the ring planet, and studying the system in detail. In late 2016, the Cassini spacecraft began a daring set of orbits called the Grand Finale, which will be in some ways like a whole new mission. According to the Space Agency, in the course of their observations of the ring planet, scientists picked up on a number of radio waves. After NASA discovered dozens of these radio waves back in 2004, they admitted themselves to be rather flummoxed by the noises and wrote a note saying, A most intriguing file. We do not know what to make of it. This prompted some amateur cosmologists to suggest these radio waves may well be the recordings of aliens attempting to communicate with each other. This isn't the first time this has happened. Over the years, these types of signals have been picked up, and people are always left asking the same questions. Was it aliens? In many stories and legends from around the world, there are talks of giant men that once walked our planet. In fact, evidence of larger and more powerful humanoids are said to litter archaeological and evolutionary history as well as many ancient historical records that detail events of great accuracy, and are often regarded as non-fictitious works that also make references to giants and their incredible nations. Over the years, some people have come forward and said that some of our most famous landmarks could have been built by larger humanoids. It's important to note though that scientists have said they've never found any indications that giant humanoids exist. These ideas are purely speculation. There is a place found in Russia that's shrouded in mystery. This is due to the fact that giant rock formations have been found here, and locals have been saying for years that they were placed here by giants. They say that thousands of years ago there lived an ancient civilization in the area that were made up of large humanoids. They had lived here for years and used to build giant structures from the land around them. The formations can be found in Siberia and they are made up of large boulders that are believed to weigh in the region of 1,000 to 4,000 tons each. These megaliths are over 120 feet high. Some have compared these stones to other formations that can be found around the globe. Another one of these goes by the name of the Fortifications of Massini. This discovery has continued to baffle engineers and architects to this day. The technique of masonry use is actually referred to as Cyclopean masonry, it's claimed that each massive block was supposedly placed by hand by the Cyclops giants that inhabited the region. It was believed that the walls were created 3,500 years ago during the Late Bronze Age period, which seems baffling given the fact that the walls were completely without delay or technological limitation. Going back to the Russian megaliths, researchers have said that it's still confusing on how these structures came to be. It's been suggested that the smooth surfaces and accurate angles on such huge boulders indicate the use of massive tools, with some researchers saying that to achieve the same shape of rocks you would need modern day machinery. However, some have hit back at this and have said that other giant structures were built by humans in the past, with some saying the Great Pyramids of Giza were created using manpower, and suggest it's most likely the same thing that happened here. 
On the 31st of January 2018, the moon was full for a second time in a month. This was a rare occasion as it only happens once every two and a half years, and is known as a blue moon. The best places to view this event were from Central and Eastern Asia, Indonesia, New Zealand and Australia. The eclipse moon's reddish colour earned it the nickname Blood Moon. According to astronomer Bruce McClaw, on the night of the Blood Moon stargazers were able to view a partial eclipse followed by a long lunar eclipse. According to McClaw, this full moon is sometimes referred to as a micro moon or a mini moon. When the moon is in this position, it takes more time to cross the shadow cast by the Earth than it does when the moon is a little closer to the planet, which is why the time that the blood moon can be seen is extended. However, during this event a woman noticed something strange. While observing the moon she took a number of photographs and after reviewing them saw something that looked out of place. The photographs were sent to move on, the mutual UFO network which is based in the United States. MUFON has one of the largest collection of UFO databases in the world, and every day people send in their photographs of mysterious objects that can't be explained at that moment in time. The witness said the following, I just happened to notice an object travelling at a very high rate of speed going down the left side of the moon, and downwards to the left until it disappeared. Others also saw the object and said it was travelling fast, and that it was pulsating with one person saying that they had a good view of the moon and whatever this object was it was giving off a bright white colour, further saying that it looked like it was changing size. However, some skeptics suggested the object was a helicopter, and the pulsating light was just a high intensity strobe light. It's not uncommon to see aerial vehicles during these events, but some are adamant that what they witnessed was not a helicopter or a plane. Now it's important to remember that UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. It's only been in the last few decades that UFOs have been connected to alien life. This is not the case. A UFO is just an object that people cannot identify at the time. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.